Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Oh. Are you new around here? I haven't seen your face around here before. So, is there a reason why you're... at my door at five in the morning? Nah, uh, look, I don't want to talk about my boss right now. Especially when I was sleeping. <sighs> what, are you a fan of something? You wanted to come to me in the midst of the night so you can get a little, uh, touchy with the spider? Hmm? No? Ugh, fine. Come in. Jesus. So what did you want to talk to me about with, uh, you know, Valentino? D you wh what? What? You should have started out with that. So you also work for Val? Wow, small world. No, I can tell you something. What a, what an asshole he is, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like every time I'm always there, he always treats me like all sorts of shit. Uh huh. But, uh, why did you want to know exactly why I, you know, work for him and whatnot? Oh, pfft. Yeah, right. Like, I'm never gonna answer that guy's calls anymore. The only time he calls me is whenever he wants a quick bone or needs a new film made. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, he treats everybody like that. Well, everybody that he works with. We're just some... toys to him. But, I can't do anything about it. He owns my soul. I, I signed a contract with him. And, well, I'm his... Biggest star now, so I can't really get out of it. But, I made some creative liberties, and now I stay here, instead of at that shitty tower he always works at. Uh-huh. Oh, he gave you a place to stay at the tower. I see, I see. Well, how's it up there? Any more people getting, you know, abused, punched in the face, anything like that? Cigarette burns? Anything? He threatened to shoot ya? Huh, <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> Oh yeah, several times. I mean, he's even put the goddamn gun in my mouth. He's not a good person. No, you should see half of the texts he sends me. Do you want you want to see these fucking texts? Look at this. 
Most of them are, you know, voicemails, but you know, look at these text messages. This was just today. Over 50 messages. Just spamming me. To come over to the studio. Call me a bitch, a slut, a whore, every other word in the fucking dictionary. All sorts of things. You know, if I was smarter, I would have, you know, not taken that contract, but I was desperate. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm screwed. Until I either die or he just gets bored of me. Uh-huh. You signed a contract too, didn't you? Since you work for him. Yeah. Did you ever even read what entails in that contract? The small details are something you should probably have read into before signing into it. Yeah, he doesn't even pay us very well. I know, they're working for the V's. It's like a big shot deal around here. I know, but... They take a, like a large percentage of our pay cuts. And, well, I can barely f afford crack. Crack's expensive. And I get to live over here for free because, well, my friend's over here. And they run the hotel. Ah, yeah, the princess of hell herself, Charlie Morningstar. Along with her girlfriend, Vaggy. And, uh, there's Husker, the, uh, bartender. There's Alistair, who is the, uh, the big boss man. Even though he's not really the boss of the hotel, he's, he thinks he's the boss, but that's Charlie. And, uh, but now there's uh, been, you know, Lucifer, th that short king, Always running around here, making sure Charlie's okay, and now talking to that new human that's been staying down here for a while now. That, um, no, oh, what's their nickname? Hell's Wanderer. Yeah, that one. Uh-huh. They're the one that, uh, pushed back the, uh, dates on the exterminations. And now is working hand-to-hand -hand with Lucifer, trying to rehabilitate everybody because, well... From what we learned, that was God's plan while sending Lucifer's down here. But guess who didn't do that? Adam didn't give him the right stuff. So now I think Adam's locked in prison up in heaven or some bullshit like that. I don't know what they do up there with people like that. Yeah, but who cares? It's not even my problem. It's more likely their problem. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically everything I do around with Val. I, uh, I go into work, do my shoots, and I go home. But he does try to force me to do an extra couple of shoots, but I tell him that I've only doing my work when I'm scheduled to. That means when I'm on, and then when I'm off on the schedule. That's when I go home. I told him that to his face. Of course, he didn't like that. But it's in the contract where I have to work within his schedule. And that's his schedule the way he scheduled it. So... I'm not technically breaking any rules. I'm just strictly following this, how the contract written. And, well, with creative liberties, I still have, you know, Charlie and a whole bunch of other people to protect me. If he ever has the cojones to, you know, walk down here and try to get me. But I don't think he's got those cojones. I mean, I'm a bottom, and I think I have bigger balls than that guy. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. All right, all right. Well, if you're going to get going now, and well, you have to go back to your house, I should say, or the you know the tower that you live in. Uh, if I ever see you around in the uh, studio, if you ever catch me, um, I'll, I'll come say hi to you. All right, and uh, don't worry about uh, you know bothering me. Now that I know you work with Val, we gotta stay close. Yeah. All right. See you later. <laughs>